They say a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. What is a bird on a head worth? I'm going to make for you a really, really adorable, cute, Instagrammable milkshake that's Christmas themed because Christmas is literally right around the corner and I haven't even bought any of my presents yet. And I mean presents for myself. I haven't bought those yet. Treat yourself. As you may remember from my previous video, I had a couple of different types of eggnog. A pretty gross one, one that was so good that it tasted like angel tears, and then there was another one that made my boyfriend throw up in the sink. Oh! Oh! In the sink. Basically, I was going to use the delicious one, uh, and I went to film this video and my boyfriend was like, WAIT! You can't use that because apparently it tasted so nice that there was no point in making a cool drink out of it because he wanted to just drink it normally. Where are you going? We're using the average eggnog because we're going to be adding things to it, which means that it may not remain average. It may be nice by the end of it, we'll see. So potentially this video could be for those of you that said eggnog is gross. By the way, Archie is fresh out of the shower, so that's why he looks like a rat. I went to buy ingredients for my milkshake and look what I came back with. Pastel Christmas decorations. Not relevant for this tutorial, but unicorn cookie cutters. These are Christmas cookie cutters. What is that? Can someone tell me what that is? Pink and blue sprinkles? You're probably wondering, where are the Christmas colours? Where's the green? Where's the red? My username is pretty pastel please. Do you really think I'm going to be using something green? Please don't look at me like that. I'm sorry. I, I love you. If only you were pink. Sparkle gel. What you're going to need is all of this. You're going to need all of this. I know, it's a lot. I think I spent like 40 bucks. This is the most expensive eggnog milkshake of my life. Actually, it's the first eggnog milkshake of my life. So let's make it a good one. The first thing you need to do is move your eggnog out of the way because eggnog's gross. White chocolate melts because white chocolate is the most versatile thing in the world and I probably wouldn't have 8,000 followers on Instagram without it. We're going to zap it in the microwave, put it in for 40 seconds and then I'm going to stir it and then I'm going to put it in for 30 seconds and then I'm going to stir it and then I'm going to put it in for 20 seconds and then stir it. Are you taking notes Archie? You're stuck in my hair. Stop. Stop this madness. I should really call my cooking show Cooking with Bird. But not Cooking Bird. Cooking with Bird. Okay. It is ready. So I think I'm going to use a Christmas tree, definitely. I'm going to use a candy cane. A star, for sure. Angel or gingerbread man? Please pick. Which one? You're really not interested, are you? Does this not interest you? Okay, fine. Why is this so hard to choose? Angel, okay. So we have four decorations. We're gonna do a couple of different colors here. Going to just divide up our melted white chocolate, which I think I've slightly overcooked. One, two, three, four. Taking the glass that you wanna use for the final version of the milkshake, you're just gonna use the leftover white chocolate. Archie, can you please not? Just put some white chocolate all over the inside. Hey, you know what? Even put it all over the outside too. Why not? Now he's interested. It's really difficult to cook with a bird on your shoulder. Banished. Banished. Banned. Yep. Yep. Archie! <laughs> Let go! <laughs> Let go! No. 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 Let go! Why are you doing this? Dan! Dan, can you please come and extract Archie? Oh. He says, I want to be in the video. Not again. Come on. Please, Archie. <sighs> that was a disaster. Food dye. Pink. Put some of that in there. Blue. Some yellow for the star and some green for the tree. Stir it all up. Make sure you don't use too much food dye because then it won't be pastel and then there's literally no point in even drinking it. Baking tray, baking paper. So you want to keep the colors somewhat divided. You want them kind of separate. 
You'll see why in a minute. So let's go in with pink, green, blue, and yellow. If this isn't the most time-consuming milkshake you've made in your entire life, then you're doing it wrong. Just do a little bit of this to make it spread out. Look, looks like a fish. Taking a toothpick, just kind of swirl some of these colors together. Archie, do you want to come back? There's almonds. Make sure that it's really thin by kind of letting it drizzle around. You can see. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Oh. Hey, don't do that. Cookie cutters. Yellow goes with the star, green, Christmas tree. In the green and pink section for the candy cane, I'm going to do the angel in the blue and green area. Here's the fun part. I've got some little church, church, church curs. I can't remember what they're called. Just going to sprinkle some of these. Make sure that at least some of them get onto the inside of where the cookie cutters are. And then the rest can just kind of go all around the outside. Oh, hello, friend. Stealing an almond, are we? No, no, these aren't almonds, no. You may not, good sir. Don't get frightened, Archie. You gotta give it a firm tap on the counter to make all those little ball things settle. Cool, into the fridge. And now I guess we wait. Hello. Oh, you want a cuddle? Oh, hello. Hello, friend. It's an Archie interlude. It's an Archie interlude. It's half time with Archie. Oh, I know, let's do some birdie tricks, shall we? Back. Wee. Wee. So what I've done, I have blended ice cream, lactose-free cookies and cream ice cream. Yes, it exists. A couple of scoops with some of this disgusting eggnog. And uh, it's not the best colour, so we're going to add some food dye. I'm going to make this one blue, because blue is a very easy colour to disguise any grossness. On my glass, I'm actually using fluff. Uh, you're American, you know what fluff is. If you're not American, why are you watching this video about eggnog? Anyway, so take your, take a spoon, just put the fluff around the edge of your glass, which is going to make it nice and sticky so that you can stick beautiful decorations to it. Yes, yes! Cue the beautiful decorations. Oh, they're bouncing everywhere! Yes, my pretties. These are just like hundreds and thousands of things. But really, you can use any sprinkles you want, I mean, doesn't matter what the shape of the sprinkles is. Sprinkles are cute, man. Archie's like, see? Just gonna mix the blue and the pink together. Take this. Pick them up, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. Archie wants in on that. But you can't have any, because you are bird. This isn't seed, my friend. There are sprinkles everywhere. Yeah, that works, kind of. Not really. You're all over the floor now. In she goes! Archie's like, I really need some of that! Isn't she lovely? Huh? Huh? Isn't she wonderful? Friend, I'm gonna need you to leave. Let's check on our decorations and see how they look. Well, this has been in the fridge for an entire five minutes and it's already rock solid. See, white chocolate's the best thing in the world. I'm just pressing down, making sure that they are, you know, cutting the white chocolate. Um, you should just be able to, look at that. Isn't that just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? I'm just gonna separate all my little decorations. Easy peasy. If it wasn't easy, I wouldn't be doing it. Now the chocolate is still kind of malleable at this stage because it hasn't been in the fridge for too long. When it's still a little bit soft, it's quite easy to play with. Turn these over. It's Pocky time! Okay, four Pocky sticks. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's broken. Four. Get that extra white chocolate. Put some on the back. 
And this is what's going to glue your poppy to the decorations. Archie's just having a little nibble on the tiny little blue beads. That, that wasn't so hard. I'm just going to put the pocky sort of across the top. Uh, and then let's just seal it on the top with some more white chocolate. This is the first time I've ever done this pocky gluing with white chocolate. So forgive me if it all goes terribly wrong. Oh, it's already working. Would you look at that? Tap on the bench and then put it back into set. And now we wait again. Archie interlude, Archie interlude. It's an Archie interlude. Half time with Archie. No! Maybe the white chocolate's set. It's only been a couple of minutes, but maybe it's set. Okay, now this is the hard part. Extracting our decorations without breaking them. <gasps> it cracked. That's terribly tragic. Oh well, um, she was already dead seeing as she was an angel. Okay, we're only gonna have three decorations. No, the candy cane broke too. We're gonna have two decorations. Okay, the star is fine. Okay, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree, please do not break on me. Oh, yes, 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 yay! Whipped cream. Uh, unbroken decorations. Christmas tree and a little star and maybe I can make this angel work. I mean, come on, it's white chocolate. Like, surely I can. <gasps> I'm a genius. Ah! Ow! Says Archie. <laughs> the sprinkles from earlier. <laughs> and that's it. Even though I put in all that ice cream, it still tastes like gross eggnog. I told you we should have used the nice one, but it doesn't taste anywhere near as horrible as it tasted before the ice cream. Hey Dan, you want to come and try? Come try, please, and bring Archie. Don't judge me. He looks cute. Eggnog. It's eggnog. There's nothing we can do to stop it from being eggnog. But anyway, if you're American, you might just like this. So uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Here's a bird for your enjoyment. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah! Well, it was your idea to use the crappy eggnog. That's fine. The good eggnog's out of the fridge. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think you're doing it.